A college bookstore charges $60 for a yearly membership. The first book is free with the membership, and any book after that costs $7.60, including tax. How much money M does a student spend after buying B books and a yearly membership? So M, the amount of money that they're going to spend, it's going to be the yearly membership, which is $60. So we're going to do everything in dollars, $60 plus the amount that they spend on books. So they're going to buy B books and it's $7.60 per book. So it might be tempting to say, "All right, you know, I'm going to have I'm going to do $7.60 per book and then multiply that times B books." So this might this right over here might be very tempting. But we have to remember something. The first book is free. The first book is free. So if you buy if you buy one book, you're not going to pay $7.60. You're going to pay nothing. If you buy two books, you're not going to pay $14.20. You're only going to pay $7.60. So you're only going to pay for one less than the number of books you buy. So instead of $7.60 being times the number of books, it'd be $7.60 times one less than the number of books you buy. One way to think about it is this B minus 1, you could think that you could think of this as books you need to pay for. Books that are not free, I guess. Books that are not books that are not free. The first book is free and every one after that you would pay for. And this makes sense. If you buy if B is 2, 2 minus 1, you're going to pay for one book. If B is 10, that means you're only going to have to pay for 9 books. 9 times 760 plus the membership. All right, now let's see which of these choices actually match what we just wrote. So this one doesn't. Doesn't include the membership and doesn't take one from the B to account for the free book. This one over here does account, it does account for the free book, but it doesn't account for the membership, so you don't want to do that. This one accounts for the membership, but it doesn't account for the free book. And then we have this one here, which is exactly what we wrote, except they just swapped, if you just swap these two terms, if you do $7.60 times B minus 1, plus 60. So we're going to go we're going to go with that one right there.